Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tammy and in today's video I did some lemon decor. Most of the items that you see in this video came from the Dollar Tree except for the bowl which I got from Walmart and it was in a pack four for a dollar so I thought that was really a better deal than getting just one bowl and it's plastic so that works better for me anyhow. But you could also get a white bowl from the Dollar Tree but they're usually glass but I'm sure that they have some plastic too. And I'm saying but a lot, and I realize that. But my sister told me <laughs> that you guys needed to see the person behind the hands, and then I needed to start filming an intro. So, I don't really like doing these, but I'm trying. So, at the end, I'm going to post the bloopers of how many times it took me to try to film this short intro. Anyways... I hope you guys enjoy my video, and if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you already are subscribed and you're a supporter, thank you so much. It means the world to me. And I hope you enjoy my video today. Thank you. Let's get right into it. Happy crafting, y'all. So to get things started, I picked this lovely pickle jar. I mean, it looks great as it is, but I wanted to give it a little makeover, so I took the stickers off and the letters off. You can take the stamps off with acetone, by the way. Once I scrubbed it all off, I used this Waverly chalk paint. It's plast called plaster or something. Um, they didn't have regular white like I always use, so I just bought this one because I'm out. And, I mean, it looks good enough, like it's close to white, but it has a hint of, like... A tan color but it's like a creamy white I don't know it looks good While that was drying, I got this canvas from the Dollar Tree, and I just took it apart because I'm just going to use the frame part of it, and once I got it apart, I just painted it. Thank you. 
Next is this bowl, which it came from Walmart, but the Dollar Tree does have white bowls. And the reason why I painted this one is because my other stuff was not going to be a true white. They're not a snow white, and that one is. And so I wanted it to match, so I went ahead and painted it just so that it would match my other items. But yeah, this was in a pack four for a dollar at Walmart, which is really a good deal. After everything dried, I, then I started to do all the makeovers to them. Um, so I put 25 cents on this with just a paint marker, but you can put anything you want to. I first started to put fresh on it, and then I was like, yeah, I don't really want to. So I just left it at 25 cents, and then I took some nautical rope and hot glued it around the top. Now, after I put two coats of paint onto the pickle jar, I took um, some jute rope. I think that's what it's called. It's thinner than the nautical rope. And I put it around the top so that it wouldn't show the lines of where the lid used to screw on. It, just to make it look a little, well, to, to match my bowl too, but to make it look a little less like um, garbage. <laughs> Then I printed this little picture off and brought out the good old Mod Podge and I made sure to size it on my computer before I printed it out. It's like a 3 by 5 and I slapped some Mod Podge on the back of it and then I put it on the front and put a little Mod Podge over it. Now when I put the Mod Podge over the front part of it, I didn't go like it's really far out from the edges because I didn't want to have to Mod Podge the whole jar because then it changed the finish of the jar and I just didn't want that. But yeah, I thought that was super cute.
Next, I had printed out this um, picture as well, and then I just laid my frame down over it, traced it out, cut it out, and um, the frame was an 8x10, so I printed an 8x10, but I, I selected the fit to print or whatever option, and then, then it, it made it look um, good. It matched up in there, and <coughs> I was pleased with the way it turned out, so... Whenever I stuck the sides down, I lay, I just left it laying because I didn't want to make it crooked in there. So, I just slightly raised them up and put it in. But, yeah, it turned out good. And then these straws were in the party section, or seasonal section, at Dollar Tree. And they had little pineapples on them, and I just took them off. And it left a little bit of, like, residue on the straw because they're paper. But I just stuck that part down inside where you couldn't see it because I'm really just using it for decor purposes. And this is the way everything turned out. And I just loved the way everything looks. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tammy and today I did some lemon decor. What's up? Is that a muscle or is that my thyroid? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tammy and today I did some lemon farmhouse decor crafting. Hi guys, in today's video, I don't like that glare. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm Hi guys, in today's video, so I have to be in my face like that? <laughs> hey, today's video, I'm doing some lemon decor. How we do it? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, stop staring at yourself. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing some lemon decor that... Welcome back to my channel. Mm. Hi, welcome to my channel. Hello, take 500. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tammy. There's my forehead. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tammy. Mm hmm. I am. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Do I have to say that? 